we have with us Ashwin Patel, Equity Analyst at LKP Securities, to decode that for us. Uh, Ashwin, good morning. Good to have you on the show. Uh, the space has been hit by demonetization, and the auto industry is, of course, pinning hopes on the upcoming budget. Uh, let's start with the broad key expectations. See, auto mobile sector, which contributes about 7.1% of GDP, uh, is not expecting anything uh, uh, significant from this budget. Uh, however, there is some sort of wish list from the auto industry, which uh, we would like, uh, or the auto, auto uh, the, uh, the, the the manufacturers within the auto sector would like is first of all some clarity on the excise duty uh, and and GST as such, because under GST, uh, you know, there is some still sort of uh, ambiguity between uh, which sector will be charged at what rate. Uh, you know whether uh, uh, the luxury cars will be charged close to what they were, uh, you know, uh, uh, getting charged earlier, close to about 40 percent, or uh, even the two wheelers will be charged at 12 and a half percent, or just eight and a half, uh, or just at close to eight percent, which was their uh, uh, the rate when the government had earlier announced the swaps for uh, the two wheeler sector, or uh, you know that kind of uh, 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 some unclarity is there still for the auto uh, sector point of view and also as far as GST is concerned uh, post GST the application of uh, GST on the auto manufacturers uh, or, or the car makers two wheelers commercial vehicle uh, makers is still some there is still some sort of uh, you know a cloud on that so uh, the uh, the manufacturers need some sort of clarity on that so uh, that is one of the you know prime thing that uh, we expect uh, the government to uh, uh, announce uh, in, in the upcoming budget Secondly, is that uh, the cash for clunker scheme, which was expected to uh, give some clarity uh, over, over the past few months, since Mr. Uh, Nitin Gadkari had announced it about six, seven months back. After that, there has been nothing on that. So some clarity on that front, like scrapping of uh, commercial vehicles older than 15 years and uh, giving some sort of uh, SOPs instead of that. Uh, so that that is the second thing which uh, we would like to seek clarity upon. Uh, then the third is uh, the electrical vehicles. Uh, the, the import of um, the uh, goods and equipments required or the tools required for the auto parts required for uh, manufacturing electric vehicles are attracting a huge import duty. So any cutback on that will be definitely welcome. And uh, what sort of uh, uh, you know a plan or an outlay the government is going to lay in this budget for uh, the electrical vehicles uh, growth uh, in India will also be one thing uh, which needs to be washed out in a scenario where uh, you know eco-friendly things I mean are really on uh, you know on an up move. And uh, on the other hand, we also know that NGT has been applying stringent laws, rules, and regulations uh, in various states of India regarding pollution.